last time on Out Chasing Stars, we did our best to turn Starry Horizons into one of the famous Maldives luxury resorts as we had two sets of friends come to visit. It's always a blast when we get to share our adventures with guests and we enjoy doing some snorkeling, trying wakeboarding for the first time, and even visiting a local health clinic to clean a bug out of Amy's ear. Once everyone had left, our time in the Maldives was running short. So we wrapped up a few boat projects and got set for one last passage. We are on the move. We are just now leaving Mama Gilly and we are headed on a two night sail down to Gone. You use that word sail quite liberally. I don't, I don't know if this will qualify. <laughs> two night motor. That's quite more like it. Um, I am seeing three knots of wind right now, which means it's going to be very hot. But gone is our last stop in the Maldives. We are, uh, we have like four days left on our cruising permit, so we're going to get there. We don't have to leave. If we stay in one place, we don't need to cruise. Stay in one place, permit, we don't so have to renew our cruising key. permit. So we'll do the things we need to do, and then we'll take off when the weather looks good to go to Chagos. And there is something a little exciting on this passage. We get to cross the equator again. Oh yeah, we haven't even talked about that. It's no. gonna be like, I think, middle early or second morning. Yeah. Middle of the night or early, early in the morning. So, who's gonna get to be the one to cross the equator? Who's gonna be get to be the other one to wake the other one up? Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, the stories of a passage, huh? Yeah. All right, well, away we go. Away we go. Jumps behind you too. Look at all of them over there. Got a lot coming that way too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that jumping. There's just something about seeing dolphins at the beginning of a passage that always feels like a bit of good luck. And uh, you know, after all the work we've been doing the last couple days, we could use a little bit on this passage. So feeling feeling good so far. They decide to leave. Short show tonight. Oh, um, no, well, still nice to have them show up for a little bit. We've seen a lot of dolphins since we left Sri Lanka. Yeah, the Maldives is bringing its A game on that one. Yeah. You're looking pretty relaxed up there, babe. It's where the breeze is. <laughs> Uh, we're uh, light winds, you need every little bit you can find to cool down, huh? Breeze and shade and thanks to the chair, I'm comfortable. I mean, this is the next 48 hours for me, so... <laughs> you have found your spot and claimed it, have you? Found my spot. Well, Amy got comfortable. I got a bit of inspiration. Looked out the window and there are a ton of fish jumping up here. Probably very hard to see. I think someone's coming out. With all those fish jumping, we've got to put a line out and see if we can get something. So we're gonna do that real quick.
This just goes to show how terrible I am at fishing. We were going through giant schools of fish and I didn't catch a single damn thing. Sun's going down, which means we take the lines in now. So that's disappointing. I suppose we'll just try again tomorrow. Luck can't be bad forever. There is not a whole lot to do when there is two knots of true wind speed, seas are flat calm, and you're just motoring. Makes for a very uneventful night, but uh, it is easy, I gotta admit that. When the sun came up, I got a better view of our conditions, and was astonished by the sea state. That water is pretty much glass flat. There is a bit of a swell rolling in, it's hard to see, but it has such a wide period that uh, it feels like almost nothing. Very rarely do we see this flat. It is so flat out, you can see the reflection of the clouds in the water. By now, we're used to big waves at sea, but glass calm is still rare enough to be memorable. The morning once again brought some dolphins, putting on a show in what I thought was a complicated fishing dance. And I certainly didn't want to get shown up by a flippin' dolphin. We may have struck out yesterday doing some fishing, but I'm feeling positive today. Today's gonna work. We're gonna catch some fish, so I'm gonna get the lines out this morning. Lines deployed and still silent, I had to find other ways to create some action. About the only exciting thing I get to do today is dodge around some squalls. The wind is still crazy light, around two or three knots true wind speed, uh, but we have had several squalls that are showing up on the horizon, and uh, they don't, they're not big, not like lightning and thunder or anything like that, but if we go through them and we get rained on, that means we have to close the hatches. So it would get very, very hot inside very quickly. Uh, much better to try to divert course around them, uh, keep a little bit of airflow going, and yeah, have a little bit of excitement in the day. Done a pretty good job of dodging the squalls today, but there is a, a rainbow back behind us. Not a great sign, and off in front of us, that's a lot of rain. I think, I think our luck's about to end. The squalls kind of seem like they're joining in together. So, I also feel the temperature dropping and the wind is increasing. I think I'm gonna go in, close the hatches, and get ready. As a matter of fact, it looks like we got ourselves a double rainbow. Does that, does that mean we're twice as lucky now? Not quite sure on that one. Try as I might, just couldn't avoid getting hit by a squall, so the rain is finally hitting us. It is not horrendous, it's not like a terrible downpour, but it still is still raining, which is causing us to close up everything. We were able to get the sail out for a little while though. The wind picked up so we had like six knots of apparent wind speed. Super exciting. It's it's already dying again back down under five. Um, but I can say we at least got to motor sail for ten minutes on this passage. It has stopped raining which means that we can open up the boat again. Oh it feels so much better when it's not getting just so stuffy and there's still a few crazy looking clouds on the horizon out there so we'll probably be dealing with most of this all night but but you can see the Genoa is still up so the wind has stayed up long enough that we've been sailing or motor sailing I should say definitely not sailing uh, longer than my 10 minute prediction that's one thing I'm happy to be wrong about
The squalls kicked up some waves, and the motor sailing didn't end up lasting a whole lot longer than my predicted 10 minutes. But with the sunset, we had another big milestone to look forward to. It is equator crossing time for the third time. Our third equator crossing. Normally we've been able to do it during the day. Yeah, this one, as you can tell, is, is not, not during the day. No, it's gotten a little bit rougher. Yeah. So. We're not gonna have our feet dragging through the water this time, but it's we timed it at least well enough that it is almost exactly our shift change. Yep. So neither of us is having to stay up too long into the other one or mess up our normal sleep schedule too badly. Yeah. But we've got about 0.2 miles to go to cross the equator. So we're ready. What do we got to uh, celebrate Mr. Neptune this time? We've got some bubbly. Gotta do the bubbly. This is going to be like a half blast because I'm ready for bed. <laughs> yeah, no, no 2 a.m. parties here. Just, uh, just certainly not. Give appropriate celebrations to Neptune and then bed again. We are, we're south of the equator now. We made it. We made it. We had a, a slight champagne mishap. Not without excitement. Not without excitement. Um, <clears throat> we were counting down, we were getting very, very close. We were getting the champagne prepared, uh, but we didn't quite count on the fact that it's a little rougher out here. So we opened the champagne and... Um, I suspect it was a little bit more uh, shook up than usual. Yeah. So the so. champagne like exploded everywhere. So we were cleaning <laughs> as we actually crossed the equator, yeah. uh, which is not a bad thing to, to be doing when you cross, but... Um, <laughs> At least it wasn't the first crossing. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad to mess that one up for sure. But yeah, so we uh, had a good stay in the northern hemisphere. I think we're ready to head down to the southern. We are. We're, we're hoping Mr. Neptune will forgive us this light mishap and still look out for us as we are. Yeah, let's not spill again. Not spill again. All right. But uh, we've got a good stay in the southern hemisphere coming up. Lots going on. Next time we cross again, we'll be in the Atlantic on the way up to finish the circumnavigation. Crazy. One so, more crossing after this. One more crossing after this. Mr. Right. Neptune. Cheers. Here's to you, buddy. Mmm, -hmm. tasty. It's not the greatest sunrise we've ever had, but it is the last sunrise for this passage. The waves are getting a little bigger. Period's a little bit less, so seas are a little rougher now. Um, but we're only about 14 miles away from the atoll where Gon is. We got through a pass to get through and about four miles inside the atoll. So we're getting close to finishing this one up. I am sad to report though, no fish at all yesterday. It's alright, we're back in the southern hemisphere. I'm feeling positive for the southern hemisphere. Maybe it's just the northern that doesn't like us very much. We have anchored down, my dear. Anchored down. We made it into the Gone Lagoon. It's this this place is barely very tight. tight. Yeah. Um, but um, I'm optimistic. We have some friend boats here. There are four cruising boats here. We've met two of them and one we've talked to online. So, um, and then we have all the fun errands to start: getting diesel, getting cooking gas, getting groceries, <sighs> finishing. <up. coughs> Excuse me, finishing up everything Whoa. on the internet. No, no dying on me over there. <laughs> so, it's gonna be a very busy few days. Sounds like it, but I might go take a nap now. Yeah, you're about due. 2 a.m. wake up call comes early. We had a lot on our to-do list, so we got cracking and got ready to leave the Maldives. 
Hey y'all, thanks for watching our last video in the Maldives. That's pretty much what cruising the Maldives is like. Flat, calm, hot, not a lot of wind, but that's okay. And we're sorry to King Neptune that we did the major party foul of spilling some wine. A lot of you guys have asked if we're okay in this crazy time and we are just fine. We are batting down in Antigua. We are well stocked and we are ready to ride out the lockdown that is approaching. So, I hope you guys stay safe and careful. We are gonna keep cranking out videos for you guys to watch and keep the boredom away. Thanks y'all, bye.